So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and then type in services, click on it. Now once we're on this, we're gonna click on any service then click on N on our keyboard. Then we're gonna scroll down until we find the Nvidia services. You wanna make sure that they're all running and that it's set to automatic. So you're gonna double click on the first service, display container. You're gonna make sure that the startup tab is on automatic and that it's running. So click on start, which will then make it running and then click on okay. But if you got to this stage and it was already running and it was already on automatic, then you wanna click on restart the service. Now once you do that, you want to repeat this for the next two ones as well. So I'm going to do the second one right now, double click on it, start up tab automatic, click on start, and then click on OK. Then you want to repeat that for the third one as well. Make sure that it's running and then set it to automatic. And if it was already running, then you want to click on restart the service. Now once you've done that, you also want to double click on your service and then click on log on. And then you want to tick allow service to interact with the desktop and then click on OK. Do that for all of them as well. Now for the second step, I'm going to leave a link for GeForce Experience in the description. You just want to head over to the website, then you just want to download it again. Then you want to install it. Then you want to open up GeForce Experience and then click on the Drivers tab and then click on Check for Updates. Make sure the graphics and drivers are fully up to date. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.